Satan. Dash. Iblis. Chapter. Prophetic Commentary on the Quran. Tafsir of the Prophet. Peace be upon him. Buhari. Book 6. Volume 60. Hadith 62. Narrated Yubayd bin Yamir once Amr bin Al-Khattab said to the companions of the Prophet What do you think about this verse? Dash, does any of you wish that he should have a garden? They replied, Allah knows best. Amr became angry and said, Either say that you know or say that you do not know. On that Ibn Abbas said, O chief of the believers, I have something in my mind to say about it. Amar said, O son of my brother, say, and do not underestimate yourself. Ibn Abbas said, This verse has been set up as an example for deeds. Amar said, What kind of deeds? Ibn Abbas said, For deeds. Amar said, this is an example for a rich man who does goods out of obedience of Allah and then Allah sends him Satan whereupon he commits sins till all his good deeds are lost. Buhari. Book 6. Volume 60. Hadith 71. Narrated said bin al-Musayyab. Abu Hurairah said, the Prophet said, no child is born but that. Satan touches it when it is born whereupon it starts crying loudly because of being touched by Satan. Except Mary and her son. Abu Hurairah then said, Recite, it you wish and I seek refuge with you Allah for her and her offspring from Satan, the outcast. 3.36 Buhari Book 6 Volume 60 Hadith 249 Narrated said bin Jubair. I said to Ibn Abbas, Nath al bikulai claims that Moses, the companion of al qadr was not the Moses of the children of Israel. Ibn Abbas said, The enemy of al Nath told a lie. Narrated you by bin Ka single quote be that he heard Allah's apostle saying, Moses got up to deliver a speech before the children of Israel and he was asked, Who is the most learned person among the people? Moses replied, I am the most learned. Allah admonished him for he did not ascribe knowledge to Allah alone. So Allah revealed to him. At the junction of the two seas there is a slave of ours who is more learned than you. Moses asked, O my Lord, how can I meet him? Allah said, Take a fish and put it in a basket and set out. And where you will lose the fish, you will find him. So Moses took a fish and put it in a basket and set out, along with his boy, servant Yusha bin Nun, till they reached a rock on which they both lay their heads and slept. The fish moved vigorously in the basket and got out of it and fell into the sea, and there it took its way through the sea, straight as in the tunnel. 18.61 Allah stopped the current of water on both sides of the way created by the fish, and so that way was like a tunnel. When Moses got up, his companion forgot to tell him about the fish, and so they carried on their journey during the rest of the day and the whole night. The next morning Moses asked his boy servant bring us our early meal. No doubt, we have suffered much fatigue in this journey of ours. 18.62 Moses did not get tired till he had passed the place which Allah had ordered him to seek after. His boy servant then said to him, Do you remember when we betook ourselves to the rock I indeed forgot the fish, none but Satan made me forget to remember it. It took its course into the sea in a marvelous way. 18.63 There was a tunnel for the fish and for Moses and his boy. Servant there was astonishment. Moses said, That is what we have been seeking. So they went back retracing their footsteps. 18.64 They both returned, retracing their steps till they reached the rock. Behold! There they found a man covered with a garment. Moses greeted him. al qadr said astonishingly, Is there such a greeting in your land? Moses said, I am Moses. He said, Are you the Moses of the children of Israel? Moses said, 
I have come to you so that you may teach me of what you have been taught. al Qaeda said, You will not be able to have patience with me. 18.660 oh Moses. I have some of Allah's knowledge which he has bestowed upon me but you do not know it. And you too, have some of Allah's knowledge which he has bestowed upon you, but I do not know it. Musa said, Allah willing, you will find me patient. And I will not disobey you in anything. 18.6 al Qaeda said to him, If you then follow me, do not ask me about anything until I myself speak to you concerning it. 18.70 After that both of them proceeded along the sea coast, till a boat passed by and they requested the crew to let them go on board. The crew recognized al Qaeda and allowed them to get on board free of charge. When they got on board suddenly Moses saw that al Qaeda had pulled out one of the planks of the boat with an adze. Moses said to him, These people gave us a free lift, yet you have scuttled their boat so as to drown its people. Truly, you have done a dreadful thing. 18.71 al Qaeda said, didn't I say that you can have no patience with me? 18.72 Moses said, Call me not to account for what I forgot and be not hard upon me for my affair with you. 18.73 Allah's apostle said, The first excuse given by Moses was that he had forgotten. Then a sparrow came and sat over the edge of the boat and dipped its beak once in the sea. al Qaeda said to Moses, my knowledge and your knowledge, compared to Allah's knowledge is like what this sparrow has taken out of the sea. Then they both got out of the boat. And while they were walking on the seashore, al Qaeda saw a boy playing with other boys. al Qaeda got hold of the head of the boy and pulled it out with his hands and killed him. Moses said, Have you killed an innocent soul who has killed nobody? Truly. You have done an illegal thing. 18.74 He said, Didn't I tell you that you can have no patience with me? 18.75 The sub-narrator said, The second blame was stronger than the first one. Moses said, If I ask you about anything after this, keep me not in your company, you have received an excuse from me. 18.76 then they both proceeded until they came to the inhabitants of a town. They asked them food but they refused to entertain them. In that town they found there a wall on the point of falling down. 18.77 al Qaeda set it up straight with his own hands. Moses said, These are people to whom we came, but they neither fed us nor received us as guests. If you had wished, you could surely have exacted some recompense for it. al Qaeda said, This is the parting between me and you. That is the interpretation of those things over which you were unable to hold patience. 18.78-82 Allah's Apostle said, We wished that Moses could have been more patient so that Allah might have described to us more about their story. Buhari Book 6 Volume 60. Hadith 442. Narrated Ibn Abbas. All the idols which were worshipped by the people of Noah were worshipped by the Arabs later on. As for the idol Wad, it was worshipped by the tribe of Kalbid Damat. Al Jandal. So it was the idol of the tribe of Murad and then by Ban, Gutaif at Al Jerf near Saba. Yak was the idol of Hamdan. And Nasser was the idol of Emir, the branch of D. Alcala. The names of the idols formerly belonged to some pious men of the people of Noah, and when they died Satan inspired their people to prepare and place idols at the places where they used to sit, and to call those idols by their names. The people did so, but the idols were not worshipped till those people who initiated them had died and the origin of the idols had become obscure. Whereupon people began worshipping them. Buhari. Book 6. Volume 60. Hadith 475. Narrated Jundab bin Safayan. 
One Salah's apostle became sick and could not offer his night prayer Tahajjud for two or three nights. Then a lady the wife of Abu Lahab came and said, O Muhammad, I think that your Satan has forsaken you, for I have not seen him with you for two or three nights. On that Allah revealed. Be the forenoon, and by the night when it darkens, your Lord O Muhammad has neither forsaken you, nor hated you. 93.1 minus 3